Let's now return to Iran and the twin attacks in the country. At least seven people are dead. Two suicide bombers struck, one of them at Parliament. Scores of people are injured. The ISIL militant group has claimed responsibility. Let's now get to the very latest on that developing story. And I'm joined live from Tehran by Press TV reporter Elmira Jafari. Elmira, can you talk us through what happened in the Iranian capital? What's the latest? What do we know? Yes, as you mentioned, um, two of the main important locations in Tehran were attacked politically and religiously. The parliament and Imam Khomeini's uh, mausoleum shrine, where he is, uh, he's rested uh, uh, there. And uh, the attackers, the parliament attack happened first about a little bit past about 10 a.m. local time. Uh, four attackers, terrorist attackers, entered the parliament, um, injuring and uh, many and taking hostage at least three people. Uh, it is reported that at least seven people are dead and 35 people are injured. Um, at the same time, a little bit, maybe about 15 to 20 minutes uh, after the first attack, the second attack happened at the mausoleum shrine, um, where three people, three terrorist attackers, got inside the, the area, the mausoleum area, um, and um, in, uh, killed the gardener um, of the mausoleum. Um, it's reported that two of those, those attackers are dead, and um, one of them is, uh, is still alive. Um, and another attack happened in the parliament on where one person blew himself up. I have to say that the situation is still very much fluid. Uh, the security is high. Um, the main road to the parliament has been blocked. So, uh, but the, the, the session, the parliament session, was still happening um, about uh, perhaps 15 minutes ago. Well, Elmira, the situation there, as you mentioned, remains grim. And at the moment, though, ISIL militants have just claimed responsibility for the attacks, yet security uh, was high even then in Tehran. What more can you tell us about that? What do we know? Um, exactly. Just about 15 to 30 minutes ago, I, ISIS claimed responsibility for this attack. And it's important, the this issue of security is really important because even on a daily basis, these two locations have very much high security, especially the parliament. I mean, you have to go through two to three checkpoints just to get to the main building. I, I was there last week. I was at the mausoleum two days ago, which security is still high, where they were um, paying tribute to 28 years of passing of Imam Khomeini, um, high security there as well. So the security is, is an issue. It's, it's a big question. I have to add that um, the attackers at the parliament entered the building uh, wearing women's clothes, hijabs, and women's clothes, and used the public entrance. So maybe that's how they got in. This is the question for the authorities that uh, they're still um, they're still getting to the bottom of it. They have asked the Interior Ministry of Iran um, have called for uh, an emergency meeting, and they have asked the public to stop using. Um, the public transportation, like metro, buses, just for, for you know, for today at least, to uh, for them to get the situation under control. Elmira Jafari is joining us there from Tehran. Thank you.